हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट येट नाउ लेट्स सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम व्हिच सेज द 50 के जी ब्लॉक ए इज रिलीज फ्रॉम रेस्ट डिटरमाइन द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द 15 के जी ब्लॉक बी इन टू सेकेंड्स राइट सो दिस फिफ्टी के जी ब्लॉक ए इज रिलीज फ्राम रेस्ट एंड वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू फाइंड द वेलासिटी ऑफ uh this block b which is 15 kg uh, after 2 seconds right <clears throat> so first of all what we will do is that we will relate uh, the acceleration of this block b with the acceleration of block a first of all we will define our datum line right we will define our datum line so is we know that the center of uh, this small pulley will remain at rest right and both of these pulleys will remain at rest and they are attached to each other with the help of this rod right so we will define our reference line from where we will define the position of these uh, block blocks block a and block b right so this is our reference datum right and the as we can see that this block b and this pulley d they are attached to each other and this particular length is constant right so this pulley d will move up and down right so if this block a is released and it is moving downwards then what will happen is that this pulley d and this uh, block b will move upwards right so the position of this block b is defined by the uh, the center of this pulley right so we will say that the this is the position of that block b from this reference line and the position of that block b is considered positive uh, in the downward direction right and similarly the position of this block a from this datum line in the downward direction is represented by the position coordinate se right so now if we apply the uh, kinetics right so we we need to write the equation for the length of this rope right so now as we can see that uh, this length and this length it will remain constant right and these lengths will change right so now uh, the total length will be equal to uh, this length this is sb plus sb plus sb so this is 3sb plus this s a and this will be equal to the length of the rope right we are not considering uh, all those portion of the rope uh, which will the length of which will remain constant right we have learned this in the previous chapter right so this is 3 s b plus s a is equal to l and now if i take the derivative of this whole equation with respect to time so then this will be 3 vb plus va equals to the since the length of the rope remains constant with respect to time it is not varying so this will become zero right and again if i take one another derivative so then this will be 3 ab plus the acceleration of a and this will be equal to zero or uh, from this we can say that the acceleration of block b will be equal to minus a a divided by 3 right so now what does this means that if the if block a is moving downwards right if acceleration of block a is in the positive direction of s a then the negative sign tell us that the acceleration of block b will be in the upward direction so this is the relationship between the acceleration of block a and the acceleration of block b right now after this uh, what we will do is that we will apply the equations of kinetics we will analyze uh, this block b along with this pulley d since they are attached to each other so both of these will be accelerating and the acceleration of this pulley d and the acceleration of this block b will remain the same since they are uh, attached to each other right 
and the length of uh, this part of the probe or mechanism is not changing. So, we will consider this pulley D and block B together since they constitute a single system, right. So, let us say that the tension in in the rope is let us say T, right. So, let us say this will be T since this is this is only one rope. So, the tension will remain the same, right. So, we have three tensions, right. This is that D uh, pulley D and we have the same tension in all of these uh, ropes, right. And the weight of this block B is mass is 15. So, the weight is 15 times 9.81 and let us say that this is our positive y direction remember right. We the this need to be consistent with the positive direction of S B right. So, now if I apply if we if we are considering this as a free body diagram and if I apply the uh, summation of forces along y equals to m a y and downward direction is the positive direction right that is the positive y direction. So, now as we can see that we have 1 2 3 tensions. So, this will be 3 t minus that weight which is 15 into 9.81 and this will be equal to m a y and the acceleration of this is a b. So, we can say that a y equals to a b right and since the the pulleys the masses of the pulleys are neglected right the so this mass will be equal to the mass of that block b right. So, then the mass of that block B is 15 and A y equals to A B the acceleration of that block B right. So, now this is our equation 1 right. Now, again if we consider this block A now and if we apply the equation of kinetics right this is that block A which has a mass of 50 kg. So, there will be that same tension T since it is a it is continuous one rope. So, we will have the tension T and the weight will be acting downward and now the mass of this block A is 50. So, this is 50 times 9.81 and it is accelerating right. So, let us say that the acceleration of block A is A A right and this will be equal to A Y now. So, now if I apply the summation of forces along y equals to m a a y right the downward direction is positive. Sorry if the downward direction is positive then this is minus 3 t this is minus 3 t and this is plus right the weight is acting in the positive direction and this is acting in the negative direction right. So, we will have this this equation. Similarly, now uh, this will be T is acting in the negative direction. This is our positive direction of positive y direction. So, we will write minus T and this weight is in the downward direction that is in the positive direction. So, I will write plus this will be 50 into 9.81 and this will be equal to uh, the mass of block A which is 50 and A y equals to A A the acceleration of block A. So, this is equation 2. Now, we have two equations and three unknowns, but we have one another equation right. So, basically we have three equations and three unknowns. So, now if I put this this a b equals to minus a a by 3. So, we will have two equations and two unknown then right. So, this is minus 3 t plus 15 into 9.81 and this is 15 and a b is minus a a divided by 3. So, this will be 5 minus 5 a a right. So, I can write that this is minus 5 a a. So, this is now our actual equation let us say this is equation 1 dash right. 
So now if I multiply this whole equation by minus 3, so this will be equal to minus 3t plus 3 into 50 will be 150, 9.81 and again 3 into 50 will be 150 AA, right. So now this is the updated equation too. Now, if we add this equation with this one dash equation, right, let me write this equation here, right. So, this is minus 3t plus 15 into 9.81 equals to minus 5aa. And if I subtract this equation from this, right, so, so we will have the opposite signs so this will cancel out and this will be 150 150 into 9.81 minus 15 into 9.81 9 so this is equal to 1324 1324.35 and this will be 150 plus 5, so this is 155 AA. And from this we can say that the acceleration of block A is equal to 1324.35 divided by 155, right. So we can say that this answer divided by 155 is the acceleration. And that acceleration of block A is 8.544, 8.544. Meter per second square. The positive signs means that the acceleration of block A is in the downward direction. Since we have assumed that this is the positive direction, the downward direction is the positive, right? So this is positive. Now we can use this equation, we can find the acceleration of that block B. So AB will be equal to minus AA. So AA is 8.544 divided by 3. So now if we divide this answer by 3, so we will get the acceleration of that. This is 8.544 divided by 3. This gives me 2.848. And this will be minus 2.848 meter per second square. And the negative signs tells us that that block B is moving in the upward direction since this was our positive direction so it is moving in the upward direction right so this is the acceleration of that block b which has a mass of 15 kg now we are required to find the velocity of this block b after two seconds when this block a is released from from rest right so if this uh, block a is released from less from rest then that block uh, the initial velocity of that block B will also be equal to 0, right. So, that will also st start moving from rest, right. So, now we can say that we B, the final velocity of that block B after 2 seconds is equal to V B naught plus A B into T, right. So, this is equal to 0 and V B is equal to AB. AB is 2.848, right. So, this is, if I put minus sign here, so then this is 2 and if I multiply this answer with 2, so this is minus 5.6 nine six meter per second so the velocity of that block b after two second is minus five point six nine six meter per second and the negative sign tells us that the velocity is also acting in the upward direction so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope you people would have understood this solution Kindly like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems.